there's a reason why I fail in life. And for my failures, there is no one to blame. It's always me. Whenever I fail, it's always on me. It isn't on my wife. It isn't on my family. It isn't on my environment. No one else has fault in my failures but me and me alone. When I fail, it's always on me. But failure does not define who I am. Failure, as unpleasant as it may be, teaches me to take accountability as a man. There's a reason why I fail. And that reason comes disguised as disappointment. That reason comes disguised in bitterness. That reason comes disguised in pain. And it brings with it a bunch of questions. Was I prepared well enough? Was I mentally focused on the task at hand? Did I lack expertise? Was my own knowledge failing me? Did I let fear control my actions? There's a reason. And the reason why I fail presents to me these types of questions. But it leaves me with the choice of answering them. It leaves me with the choice of answering them truthfully. And it leaves me with the choice of answering them truthfully and taking action on my newfound answers. The choice is mine to make. And with this choice I can choose to answer the questions or I can choose not to. If I choose not to answer them, I will continue to walk in my own illusion of reality and I will fail and fail and fail again in the same manner. Or I can choose to answer the questions, but how I answer them will shift my reality. If on purpose I answer wrongfully, acting on my own ignorance and pretending that the reason for my failures is something else but my own self, I will distort my reality even more. And I will reinforce my own illusion of reality with a belief that everything around me is wrong and at fault. And I am right. And I will fail and fail and fail again in the same manner, feeding my ignorance at the same time. If, however, I will have the courage to be shamed for my failure. If I will have the courage to look truthfully towards the reason of my failure, I will indeed get ridiculed. I will get humbled, I will get shamed by my answers, but I will know the real reason behind my failures. This will lead me to my final choice, a choice that's hard, a choice that's humbling, a choice that's real in the real world. Because I know up to this point my choices modeled me inside, my choices made me pick a path, my choices may have gave me some answers. But my choices up to this point had no effect on my outside world. Up to this point, whether I choose to not answer any of my questions, whether I choose to answer my questions falsely, deluding myself, or whether I choose the hard answers and found the reasons within those answers, my choices only harmed me. They either left me in my ignorance, they either pushed me away even more from reality, or they crushed a piece of me, making me hold my head down and realize my shortcomings. All of my choices up to this point led to destruction, in one way or another. So my final choice has to be strong. My final choice has to be powerful enough to lift me from my own destruction. My final choice has to be real. My final choice has to be action. My final choice has to be to act on my newfound answers. My final choice can make my failures part of my successes in life and bring me one step closer to the man I need to be. Mastery begins with humility and the road towards it is long and challenging. Failure will be my guide and taking action will be my solution. I choose to ask the hard questions. I choose to answer them as truthfully as I possibly can and I choose to act on my answers because that is the only way that I can be in a position in which I will never have to ask those questions again. That is the only way I can lift the burden of my shortcomings from myself, from my family and from my community. This is the only way I will succeed in life. This is the only way I will become the man I need to be. I choose to be a student of my failures.
I choose to learn from my failures and I choose to act on what my failures teach me.